Nasi goreng means fried rice. The idea of this dish of food is basically to avoid wasting food, because originally, rice is always overflowing after dinner or lunch. You can find nasi goreng almost everywhere, from restaurants in five-star hotels to street stalls. The right timing to eat this dish is also up to you, either for breakfast or dinner. It's completely up to you. Satay is basically slices of marinated meat grilled on bamboo skewers over a charcoal fire. In Indonesia, you can find a variety of types of meat, such as chicken, beef, lamb, scallops, and fish. Before being grilled, the meat is first grilled with a delicious sauce. They are then served with a variety of flavors and toppings, such as peanut sauce, sliced shallots and tomatoes, or hot yellow sauce. Another food dish that can be found almost everywhere in Indonesia is soto. A bowl of soto mainly contains bihan or rice vermicelli, slices of cabbage, a handful of bean sprouts and meat. Pour with clear broth with spices like turmeric, lemon, shallot and garlic. If you are a vegetarian or simply someone who does not enjoy eating meat, you can try this traditional Indonesian salad called Gado Gado. Gado Gado basically means mixture, and this name derives from the way it is served and the way it is prepared by mixing vegetables and steaming them along with peanut sauce. Rendang is actually a spicy meat dish. It can be from beef or lamb. This dish is a combination of spicy and creamy taste resulting from the combination of chili milk and coconut milk. Some people think that rendang is similar to a curry dish, but this food does not contain as much soup as curry. Another popular street food dish in Indonesia is bakso, or meatball soup. Meatballs are usually made from a mixture of topeka flour, salt, and ground beef. But you can also find chicken, fish, or pork meat in some restaurants or stands. Sometimes, meatballs are filled with different contents, such as eggs or cheese. 